In this video, we are going to learn how you can create this neon text effect in Photoshop. So let's get started. So before we begin, I just want to thanks to all my subscribers. Uh, you see, we uh, we reach uh, 3.11k subscribers, and we got very good response in this video uh, neon text effect. That's why I'm creating another uh, neon text effect video. So let's get started. First of all, just click on create new button and I'm going to create a new document and naming it as uh, Neon Text 2021 and this is going to be my width and height. Press OK. Okay. First of all, just go to file, open and you will open this background PNG. You will get this background PNG link in description. Just download from there. Open. Drag and drop right here. Okay, I'm pressing command then minus key to zoom out. Okay. Like this. Press enter and then command zero. Okay, before we begin, just let me rename it as background. And I'm going to delete this layer and lock this layer. Okay. Now go to text and add, add your text. So I'm adding neon and the font I'm using is neon tubes 2. So this is the font. You can get the download link in description. Let me adjust the font like here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this layer as smart object. So now we have smart object in our layer. Okay. Now let's start creating layer styles. So let me close this document first. Okay. Double click and you will open the layer style. Now. So first of all, let's change its color. Go to color overlay. I'm going to add something like blue. This one. Okay. Now let's add outer glow go to outer glow i'm going to reset to default okay in the outer glow just select the blend mode as linear light i have already tested all these settings so i'm going to show you the, so i'm going to show you the exact setting for the neon effect this will be linear light opacity will be around 70 or 60 and change the color to this one and change white to something like this now increase the size by 100 pixel okay and yeah now let's add inner glow click on inner glow i'm going to reset to default change the blend mode to normal increase opacity by 100% select this color and you will select some lighter color just like this okay change the chalk to 15 size will be uh, 12 okay so you see we are getting this kind of effect and okay now let's add inner shadow click on inner shadow and select I'm going to reset to default select blend mode normal increase the opacity distance will be 3 and chalk will be around 21 size will be 4 and change the color to your something like this okay now in the inner glow I think we have to change this just like this and increase the size Okay, 
so here we what we have to do is select inner glow as center now play with the size and choke and now we are done with our effect one so let me rename it as effect one now duplicate this layer by pressing command j or control j on windows and rename it as effect two right click click on clear layer style again open the layer style this time let's add bevel and emboss click on bevel and emboss select the style as outer bevel and let me show you increase the depth increase the size by 20 and the soften will be 6 maybe 20 is too much something like this and select the glows counter to this one okay so you see we have this kind of effect right here change this highlight mode to color doge change the pasty okay so now we are done with the uh, bevel and bows now let's add drop shadow click on drop shadow and in the drop shadow just uh, add blend mode as soft light add some lighter color okay change the opacity to 100 percent increase the distance you see we have this kind of drop shadow and increase the size like this now another drop shadow click on plus icon to add another drop shadow and this this time blend mode will be overly increase the distance and increase the size something like this so something like this and a drop shadow will be okay so now we are good click ok now let's create another effect duplicate this layer command g rename it as effect 3 clear layer style open the layer style this time we only need drop shadows so you can select all these you can delete all these effect one by one Okay, so now we only have drop shadow. First drop shadow will be normal. Opacity will be 15 or 60 percent. Increase the distance and increase the size. Increase the opacity a little bit. Decrease the distance. Okay, now let's add another drop shadow this time change the blend mode to linear burn and opacity will be around this 30 31 percent and increase the distance to 90 size will be 60 okay now let's another drop shadow this time again add linear burn decrease the opacity play with distance and the size let me show you all this effect one by one effect 1 inner shadow inner glow color overlay and outer glow effect 2 bevel and emboss drop shadow and this drop shadow effect 3 drop shadow drop shadow and drop shadow okay 
so now we have done with avanion effect so now let's know why we create this smart object so suppose you want to change the text this text so what you have to do is simply duplicate this layer and let me clear the layer style okay so now we have this layer so we have uh, this edit layer edit effect 1 effect 2 and effect 3 so I'm going to select all these layers press command G to create a group and I'm going to uh, disable this edit layer just disable not delete open the smart object first of all change the document by pressing crop and then press alt to resize it ok so now if I update anything right here like ok and hit save so this will automatically update to our main document so for example facebook wow and save so it also works with p uh, strokes so if i go to google and search for uh, icon png okay for example this icon maybe it's not png okay this icon right here facebook copy image go to photoshop and paste it right here okay let me turn off the text right now save changes so you see this works with everything you put inside this smart object so that's why we are creating this as smart object so let me turn it off and place it right here and i'm going to change the text to something like new okay and then you can simply if you want to add some pipes select the round box and draw a rectangle like here okay hold down the alt key and then shift to create this kind of thing press ctrl s to save and you see we have this kind of neon effect so simply select this one place it up right here select this one place it right here and save changes so this is how you can create a neon effect and here's the bonus part if you want to change this color so what you have to do is just go to adjustment layer and add hue and saturation and here you can play with hue and saturation something like this so this is very cool like this increase the saturation decrease the saturation 